Throughout the summer, wildfires have been devastating our land in EUSC, traditional territory of the James Bay Cree and of the Cree Nation of Chisasibi. The forest fires we faced this summer were not our first. We've seen and survived through many over generations, but this one was one of the most devastating seasons we've had, causing anxiety, uncertainty, and frustration. Due to the, due to the fires and smoke across EUSC, many of our people were restricted from spending time on their trap lines, from practicing their traditional activities, or even from harvesting fish. Some people were displaced and stranded in the south for several weeks due to the closure of the Billy Diamond Highway, the only access road that leads to our community. Euge are severely impacted, but we know the animals are suffering too. I recently spoke with an elder about the fires and the devastation. It broke my heart to hear him say it was unlikely he would see caribou again in his lifetime on his trapline. This will disrupt our EU medium, the traditional food that we, re that we rely on each passing season. The burned land has become so sparse, the caribou would not be able to feed as they usually do. The white birds we harvest in the winter will also likely be impacted. The elder also said fish would not have the same taste for almost a decade, given the lakes have collected ash and experienced heavy smoke exposure. Not only have the fires destroyed our trees, medicines, animal habitats, and trap lines, it took parts of our language with it too. At a time when Cree language is already in decline, the devastation to our land further distances us from important Cree teachings. Our language comes from the land, from the way we describe things to the traditional names we give our children. Much like indigenous Hawaiians, or the First Nations in BC, our nation is also in a state of grief. We are one with the land, the water, and the animals. We're mourning our land. We're mourning the cabins we built with our families. We're mourning the sacred spots that were passed down by our ancestors. We're mourning our paradise, our livelihood. The grief is heavy, but even through sorrow, we must remain optimistic. Reflecting on this painful and devastating summer can teach us so many lessons. After all of this, nature will bounce back, of course, and our community will, too. You can help. Euch, Canadians, everyone, please hold space, listen to, and amplify the voices of elders, Gnuab Magenj, and land users. We have deep love and intimate understanding of the land. Iyuj can carve a path forward with wisdom and create traditional knowledge. We lived on the land for generations and know it like the back of our hand. It's up to you to listen. Please share this message and hold our community and land in your hearts.